In a bioengineering breakthrough, researchers at EPFL have grown miniature intestines that look and behave just like real tissues. The small intestine is a hollow, tube-shaped organ in our digestive system. The large inner surface of the intestine is lined by tissue called epithelium composed of tiny bumps and cavities named villi and crypts. The epithelium is made of various cell types, found in specific locations. In particular, the bottom of the crypts contains stem cells which are responsible for the continuous regeneration of the epithelium. Skillfully combining microfabrication, bioengineering and stem cell culture, the EPFL researchers have succeeded for the first time in developing miniature intestines that match the real organ both anatomically and functionally better than any other lab-grown tissue model. The microfluidic chip is engineered to incorporate a gut-shaped microchannel within the 3D hydrogel to create the right environment for the cells. Once seeded into the channel, stem cells spread across the scaffold, forming a continuous intestinal epithelium. Fluorescence microscopy shows an openly accessible lumen and the characteristic arrangement of crypts and villus-like domains. Key intestinal cell types in the mini-guts are spatially organized strikingly similar to the real intestine, with stem cells and panath cells residing in the crypts, while enterocytes and other specialized cell types are located in the lumen. Intestinal epithelium is the fastest renewing tissue in the human body, resulting in continuous accumulation of shed cells in the lumen. The microfluidic perfusion system allows the efficient removal of dying cells and can expose these tissues to microbiota, parasites or viruses that can colonize the intestine. Miniguts can grow stably for several weeks to months, preserving the overall tissue anatomy and function. These miniature intestines, for the first time, establish a long-lived organoid system, recapitulating the homeostasis of the in vivo intestinal epithelium. The 3D biological matrix environment allows researchers to recreate organ-level multicellular complexity to study interactions between different cell types. The integration of immune cells, the vascular system and other important cell types opens broad avenues for new applications in disease modeling, drug discovery and personalized medicine.